What's up, man? Hello. Congratulations on the victory. Um, first of all, would like to ask what happened exactly with the weight cut? Just get over that one. You know, um, my last fight, got back to, to featherweight, made 45 on a dot. Um, and that was so weird because I was out of camp for like four weeks because of COVID. I was quarantined by myself, training alone, and I made weight fairly easily. Um, I don't know. I did everything I thought I was doing correctly, and I don't know if it was a coincidence, but how many people miss weight? Five or six? Four? Four? Oh, sorry. Uh, seven? Um, man, I was in there. Everything was going smooth. I got to 50, took a break. I was going to do the rest. I got up in the morning. I jumped in the swan. I was in there for 35 minutes straight. Didn't even break a glistening of sweat. Tried the tub, I duct taped the drain so it wouldn't up to my neck. Not even a glisten of sweat. And then I started getting, you know, and at that point I'd, I'd rather call the cut instead of risk my life. Because let's be honest, my health is more important than anything. And I said, I called UC, I said, can I get in the PI? Let me use the sauna in the hot tub or something. No, we can't because of COVID. All right, so I tried again. And then that's when I said, all right, I'm not going to make it. And I'd rather fight, you know. Um, I don't know if that's what happened to the other three guys. Um, but that's what happened to me. And, you know, I gave up part of my purse. And luckily in this game, when you put on good performances, you know, things kind of get overlooked. I went in there. I fought my balls off. I got the W. And, you know, I'm human. I make mistakes. I, I make mistakes more than most people. I get in my own way all the time. Uh, and that's what happened. Uh, no excuses. It's my fault. It's interesting you said you fought your balls off. Did he kick you in the nuts and you said you have small balls? Yeah, yeah, that was a joke. Trying to lighten the mood, you know? He kicked me, I felt it, but I was like, you know, thank God, thank God I have small balls, so didn't really hurt that bad. I think I got a chuckle out of some people. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> Outside of that, how do you feel about the performance? Did you know going in that the grappling was going to be on your side? And yeah, I mean, I think that's the... You know, when, when someone fights me, they're probably like, okay, he's going to try to grapple you. No kidding. But when I have dangerous grappling, when I take people down, they have a hard time getting up. And I normally hurt you when you're on the floor. I was landing big shots on Danny tonight. Um, I still have work to do with that also. But it opens up my, my striking. Oh, now you're so worried about the takedown. Well, now I outstruck him also. And he was the striker coming in off a couple knockouts, right, or something like that. Uh, and I outstruck him, I think. It looked like I did. I felt like I did. And then I took him down and I landed multiple punches. So uh, when I put everything together, it works for me well. When I try to be one-dimensional, it doesn't work. I have to blend it together. I thought you were actually landing big shots on the feet in the third yeah. round. Um, were you surprised he was able to stay in there? I thought I wobbled him a couple times. Um, there was one point where he threw a kick and my own thumb went in my eye. And I was like... I couldn't see anything. And I was like, I saw four Dannys. Um, luckily, it went away, and I was able to recompose myself um, or compose myself. But yeah, I mean, I was learning pretty solidly. Tough guy, you know, and that's what he does. He's a striker. So, but I definitely uh, got out of the way of some wheel kicks. Also, some of them whizzed right over my head, uh, but got the job done. Wait, wait, cut aside, happy with the performance? Yeah, I mean, of course, I would like I would have liked to finish, but wins a win in this game, and it's all for me. At this point, it's about longevity and climbing the ladder. So I think I'm heading in the right direction. Got to make some, you know, uh, adjustments. Congrats, man. Thank you. Yesterday at the at the weigh-in, you guys had a very tense sort of oh, yeah. weigh-in. I didn't know if that was something. Was there anything going in? Do you think that was because of the the cut, or was there any yeah. sort of something that happened before that? No, no, no. It's because I miss weight. <laughs> he called me a fat, uh, what is it, uh, motherless dog, bitch. Right? He, he, said, he said, you're a fat, uh, you can't make weight, I'm going to knock you out. And I said, oh, you're mad, grow up, you're getting 20% of my purse. I, I want people to miss weight so I can take some of their money home. <laughs> um, you know, but this is the game. People are going to talk crap even if you do everything right, so whatever. 
I was going to say, that being said, it looked like after the fight that you guys actually showed a little respect and had a couple words. What did you guys say afterwards? I, I mean, I just said I'm sorry again. I, I said sorry to him and his coaches multiple times. Even before the weigh-in, I approached him and I said, look, I'm sorry, man. And uh, he was nice about it, but then on stage he had to, you know, he was trying to get in my head, I guess. Uh, but, you know, it's the game, and I rolled with the punches figuratively and literally. So going forward, if it, if it does look to the point where fighters maybe during a tough week cuts aren't going to have access to the, the Apex and some of the other, or the PI, I'm sorry, is that gonna, do you think fighters are going to need to sort of readjust how they come in on fight week if, if there is going to be some issues? Because four, four people missing is, is quite a bit in a fight week. Yeah, it was pretty substantial. Um, and some people were close. They were coming in at the last minute making weight. Um, but yeah, you know, I didn't know what the exact situation was going to be here. Um, and Abu Dhabi was perfect for me. I made 45 on the dot. Felt great. Uh, this, you know, the, just, I, I guess I made some miscalculations. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, most of it's on me. I should be smaller earlier. That's the bottom line. So what's next? How much time do you take away to sort of rest and recover? And, and how soon do you want to try to get back in there? Yeah, two, three weeks, like, easy going. Spend time with my fiance. Uh, I know I have something to do when I get home. <laughs> forget, forget what it is. Uh, but, yeah, now I want to get back in the gym. You know, I'm kind of banged up right now. My feet are banged up. My, my shins are banged up. But, uh, you know, that'll heal and uh, get back in there, talk to my manager, see what they want. They're probably going to make me move up to 55 again. And uh, I'm going to have to make some, some serious adjustments to fight at 55 because everyone's bigger than me there. Uh, but you know what? This is the situation. I always put myself at a disadvantage. I have to always climb up a very, very steep hill to get where I want to go, and ma no matter what I do in life. So it's only natural for me to do this to myself, and, and I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. So. so is that sort of the mindset now? You, you want to just sort of prep for that, maybe start to, to, to size up a little bit? Is I mean, I guess. I don't want to lose my speed, though. Maybe I should be smaller and faster than these big guys. Or maybe I should beef up, and, or maybe you get bigger in different areas, like just my legs, instead of my upper body. I don't know. i got to talk to my coaches, see what my head coaches want to do, what my strength coach wants to do, my nutritionists, and go from there. Congrats on the victory. Thank you, sir.